hello welcome to another video welcome back to the channel if it's your first time hope you enjoy it if you've been before to my channel and seen one or two of my videos thank you for joining us again today I've come to a special spot just on the outskirts of County Durham where is one of the last remaining pockets of red squirrels I know the sun's behind us so I'm not sure whether you could see me face or not with a cap I've noticed that a few times my eyes are quite darkened off anyway came this morning and I'd already heard about this quite sad actually because they've had a few problems for years up here it's only a very small pocket of red squirrels three four most I ever heard heard of was six individuals it's only a very small piece of woodland but there are now grey squirrels in the woodland as well when I first arrived this morning saw a red squirrel straight away and um, by the time I got set up it had gone then about 20 minutes later I saw a grey squirrel myself I've come around in the woodland, found a little spot that I like and what I like to do is just sit. Just sit and it's it's a bit of a can of worms this but the, the squirrels come to you. The reason they come to you is because it's it's a council park and it's frequented by a lot of people. Um, over the years the squirrels have been fed so they're quite used to people relatively tame I've actually witnessed a squirrel walk right up to a red squirrel walk right up to somebody put the paws on the side of the jacket and look up they will go into bags sandwich boxes because they're used to being fed and the squirrels here do have mange which you can see clearly on the video clips of the red squirrel that I've got today in the photographs also today I am going to put up some photographs that I've taken previously at this site when the squirrels looked in better condition I've only seen the one red squirrel today and sadly I think the days are numbered now of red squirrels surviving in this particular woodland because of the incursion by the greys. Red squirrels aren't the only reason we're here though because in this woodland it's, it's predominantly pine but you get quite a variety of wildlife in this woodland it's as I say it's right on the outskirts of County Durham and it's it's just leads down to the shore of Derwent Reservoir this particular piece of woodland you get your, your cold tits grey tits blue tits I've seen siskin here gold crest usually always a few missile thrush about you get pheasants walking through and the mowers just across the road so you sometimes see red grouse as well crossbills are often seen here I've seen them myself I can hear something tapping which could be people don't think you'll be able to hear that but I did see a pine cone drop behind you as well so I'm just looking couple of coal tits up there the tapping is coming from above me so it's not people um, not sure what that is at the moment heard a woodpecker earlier on great spotted woodpecker they 
I'm going to take you now and show you something else that I've been photographing this morning. Something I found. It's because here we are the back end of September. This is a great place to come and see this. One moment. We have got some autumn fungi, fly agaric. I believe I will be double checking that because I'm not sure that I've got the species correct. Oh, two red squirrels chasing each other. Anyway, let's get back and I'll show you what else. Just here. Oh, and there's a grey squirrel just gone through the back. So yes, sadly, for the reds, the deers might be numbered. Found this lovely clump. A fungi. And I have photographed it this morning. And what I've done with that, is I've photographed it on a variety of angles to ensure that I, I got, hopefully, some good photographs. So isn't that typical? I come away from the main camera I've been photographing and filming on to do some shots for yourselves and I get two red squirrels running off in one direction, a grey squirrel running off in the other direction, and I don't think I've got any on film. But they may well come back, because they often do. As I said, they're used to people here. Now, as I said, this particular little piece of woodland I still hear that tapping up there somewhere. I don't know what's going on there. Or who it is. Hopefully, whatever it is, they'll come and show themselves. So, eh, it's an awful thing. Sadly, as I say, I think the days are numbered now. They won't last much longer because of the incursion of the greys. The greys, of course, carry the squirrel pox virus. But there are other pockets of red squirrels in County Durham. And I've got another video coming up when I'm going to go and look for some. What we're going to do now, though, is I'm going to have a walk through the woodland, one or two other places, and I'm going to look for some more autumn fungi. And I'll, I might come back, because time's getting on now though, it'll be mid-morning, and often with the red squirrels here, mid to late morning, they do disappear off, and they're not seen as often on an afternoon. I think they go for a siesta. Now, can you see that little fellow? And I've just come across him, or her, just as I was walking around looking for fungi. And he's literally, that's uh, black tail. It's the same one that I was photographing earlier. And look at that, he's coming right to me. He's literally now, oh, Running round the back of me. And off back along. 